here's a similar patient that I've just evaluated the other day as part of the procedure service. We were asked to come and do a, a paracentesis on this patient. And uh, I couldn't help myself. I mean, we're there for the procedure, but I couldn't help but notice these engorged veins in the patient's temple area. And in fact, when he turned his head, uh, these veins were, were everywhere on, it, on his head. And here's the video that goes along with it. So you can see the veins here. Look at this EJ. It's like a hose there. You got the inward component here with the IJ. And as we and he's in the upright position, by the way. When we span to the left, look in the temple area. There's movement right right in here. There's movement. There's an inward movement. That's classic uh, venous pulsation there. And so I asked his wife. I said, you know, um, I, I couldn't help but notice these veins. H have you noticed them? And she said, uh, Yes, I have. I've noticed them for a couple, two, three months. And I've asked every almost every clinician that this patient has seen about these veins and not only were they unable to pro provide me with an answer as to what it was causing them but they they seemed disinterested in the question well we weren't disinterested we were quite interested and we asked the primary team to evaluate this and investigate this further and he had a right heart cath done and take a guess what his right atrial pressure was at this time now he's in the upright position anybody have a guess yep you guys are right on the money 30 millimeters of mercury, which when you do the conversion multiplied by 1.36, turns out to be 40 centimeters of water. So this gentleman was walking around with uh, markedly elevated central venous pressure for some months, and it simply wasn't recognized. And I think we've gone away from the fundamentals in medicine, and we're, we're uh, quite enthralled by technology, and, and we sort of moved away. Our, our fundamental skills have, have atrophied. We'd like to see that come back. 